Hey Blender Prides, welcome to our channel again. This is your host Srujit and today I would like to introduce to my biggest achievement, Beat. Blender Animation Essential. Just kidding, it's Blender Essential Animation Tools. So basically for Maya we do have plugins like AnimBot, Studio Library, Picker and so on. What do we have for Blender? Beat is going to get you everything into one place. So let's begin. Okay, so let's start with the installation process. Uh, I hope everybody knows how to install any add-on in Blender. Still, I'd like to show it. Edit preferences, add-ons, installs. By the way, you can skip it if you don't want to. Then select the add-on and. Uh, you have to choose blender 4.0 if you are using 4.0 or if you are using less than 4.0 you have to use beat 1.0.0 enable it that's it it's done and i have added some shortcuts here where you can change it if you want to save preferences all right uh, before jumping onto the tools i would like to introduce jimmy we have developed this rig in-house if you would like to try it out please do check the link below in the description and of course jimmy is free with beat all right let's start with the interface now the main tools are on the time slider where you can slide them and you know you can use the original blender shortcuts as well as beat shortcuts and i have added a couple of more uh, useful daily usage shortcuts on the tool settings here and uh, more tabs on the nascore tab here you can find uh, motion path play blast bone selection set and also object selection set so this will actually turn into object when you select the object um camera tools mini studio library and by the way uh if you guys i forgot to mention uh if you already been purchased mini studio library and you're trying to install the beat you know you might get error so better uninstall mini studio library and in, then in, you can install beat so i have included studio library as well with beat and i will be keep on updating things like for example in future i will be adding more thumbnails on this thing uh and uh reset transforms and animation recorder something like the temp controls in animbot similar to that okay so fine uh let's check one by one okay let's start with toggles so these are the toggles here where you can actually switch between time slider dope sheet and graph editor with just one click the next one is key keyframe shifter is pretty simple select the object or control select the keys and then press this button it'll move all the selected keys towards right side and this one towards left side and if you enter value 10 which means it will shift 10 frames select them all and shift okay and one more thing you can do if you don't want to select the keys and move the entire keyframes which are visible so just deselect them and uh, select all of the objects just click this it will automatically move the keyframes which are after the time slider so you put your time slider here and then move it okay, do it simple okay the next one is copy paste delete keys these are pretty pretty much same uh, like the blender default i have just added one extra feature in this like you can actually for example if you copy with ctrl c and ctrl v what happens is uh, the time slider won't move to the end so i have added this feature on the paste maybe you can put a shortcut to that and then you can use that as when you uh, just paste it you see the time slider moves there simple even it works with uh, paste mirror simple so delete and copy are same but paste and paste mirror are uh, different okay so the next one is reset so if i go to this frame and then press t i mean t in the sense not shortcut t but you know this button here 
automatically it will reset all the locations or translations and press R not R again the button R it will reset the rotation the scale will reset the scale all right it is doing the same thing which blenders used to do right but what I have added in this select all the curves or part of the curve and then press shift and click these buttons automatically it will reset the entire selection okay then the next one it's again these are the same like T and V shortcuts but what's so special in them I'll show for example if you let's delete some keys here okay if you see that uh, the graph is smooth I'll let me just add one more one more key here and then if I change this to constant I mean step keys what happens here is it makes all the keys selected keys into step mode and then from there if you want to change it to change back to vector vector means linear in Maya uh, it's not done so you have to select all of them again go to T and then press Bezier then it will work right so this is extra steps which you need to do to get this feature right so I have added those steps here with single clicks for example select this click stepped and then directly you can use auto linear you know you can all use everything without any double clicks so just single clicks and the work is done and what about uh, this one i think uh, it was not here it was somewhere else in the keys I think it's in the handle type no pop, 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 pop. It's in the snap flat and handle see flat is very common uh, shortcut for Maya in graph editor but we have to all the way go there and access it so I have just added it here we can directly use it whenever you need it all right the next the okay so just before going on to the tweens i just wanted to tell you one more shortcut which is shift s and then you will see the same again here flat spline you can actually you don't need this much of space to see or maybe you know you can directly use it from here you can also delete the keys then copy paste everything will work as usual okay so the next one is the tween machine and uh, you see in blender 4.0 there are a lot of uh, uh, tools blends added here so mostly i have added all those buttons here and uh, two extra shortcuts i have added which is wave motion and uh, and also the bake and bake combined example if you click bake and bake okay so now it works on this as well yeah so you can actually go up to till here to just you know define if you want to clean up uh, mocap data so this is the best uh, no best one best slider to use and uh, the next one is the wave motion which i have added here click this button and then you can actually towards right side it works as a even wave and to the towards the left side it works as a random where you'll get a very jittery kind of movement where you can use it for camera shake and all okay so, and the rest of the things are pretty common just like the blenders nothing fancy so this is breakdown easy and ease out blend to neighbor blend to default bake and bake blend to 
offset uh, it is blend to ease again this is uh, match slope slope will actually try to match it uh, towards the closer neighbor key so it's better to explore individual buttons what exactly they do uh, I think fancy this is push and pull this is what is this here okay and this is scale average and this is time offset that is good and one feature is there which is uh, press e when after pressing this press e for overshoot so whenever you use that automatically the time slider uh, you know it extends the intensity of the graph for example there's a push pull and then press e it will automatically increase and decrease beyond the percentage that's it now the common tools uh this is range set range and then remove range so you don't have to mention the frames but you can select the frames keyframes and then set the range so when you play it it'll only play onto the selected set range frames <coughs> and you can cancel it whenever you want all right the next one is pretty simple one uh, make cyclic and uh, cycle with offset and then clear cycle the next one is clear keyframes uh, which will delete the unnecessary keys and then also the static channels which are completely dead so it will take care of those for example i think we don't have any dead channels so shift this button okay so now if you see all the keys are dead now then just press this button It'll remove all the scale keys simple okay the next one is the yellow filter which will help in you know fixing the rotation goes beyond 360 degrees which is common i haven't had added any extra feature in this so it's just a button and the this one i have added uh, extra one where okay now you have two controls and you want to manipulate two at the same time uh, for example x-axis of two objects you can select it with sync when you press press this automatically this and this will get selected see it's pretty simple right and uh, if you switch it off it will only select one if you have multiple objects like this and then select all of them together click this sync on and then click this automatically all the translation x values are selected the, the next one is the gizmo manipulator size manipulator okay so you can actually manipulate the manipulator size this okay and uh, this one is orbit around selection which you can find it in preferences i have added the button here directly so you know it, it is always on by default maybe if it is not on please keep it on it will be very helpful when you rotate some things so it, the camera locks towards that particular selected object if you don't select it so you know it goes into the center of where you know you see this like it so always better use this to orbit the selection properly so the next one is snap this is simple again select the object to the and then select the active it will snap to the active and this one is also same like snap 3d cursor so the 3d cursor will come here um then you can actually take this one and press this button it will automatically snap towards the 3d cursor 
common buttons and then next one this one i have added this is also common but i have added multiple uh, things for example click the pivot if you see that it's saying something like click pivot click the position in the viewport press e for rotating the object press pivot again to release it so simple uh, suppose if you have fingers on the table which you want to you know rotate the hand from this pivot uh, what you can do is select the control suppose this is the control you want to rotate it from here suppose you can't rotate it now because it is not pivot and also you cannot change the pivot all the time right so click this and place the pivot here and press e then rotate it and then click it again automatically it'll switch back to the normal position pretty simple and the next one is smooth uh, again i recommend you keep this always on so that you know you are uh, and also this value to be zero all the time so that you know when you grab time slider you will get 24 fps if you if your rig supports otherwise this will eat a lot of memory so keep it keep this on okay so let's jump on to the panels uh first one is the motion path tools this is same like blenders but what i have done is uh, i have included all the object uh, uh, motion path options and uh, bone motion path settings together and also a couple of more things in one single button for example we have a curve here okay now we have the animation for the box uh, <clears throat> now what we can do is just press this button calculate motion path and it calculates the entire range for 1 to 24 suppose if you want to just calculate particular frames you know select those keyframes and then press the same button again it will only calculate from 1 to 10 so all the details i have added here you just have to uh, do the process like you know selecting the keys or without selecting the keys so when you don't select the keys it will set to the scene range if you select the keys it will set towards that selection particular selection so simple we can actually get the all the updates for those 10 frames if you feel you know you want to have this one as well just click it you know, deselect the last one again press that button automatically it will update and also the same button works for the bones so now select the control here we don't have anything here we have uh, sorry select the control and click the same button it still works what the heck did i got ah I got one issue that is not actually an issue you should be selecting at least two keyframes not one keyframe so select all and click it so it will calculate onto those frames at least two keyframes so now we learned something new okay so select this then calculate particularly it will calculate only those particular frames Okay, so select this and then again calculate. Okay, that's it. So you can actually delete the motion path. And the delete motion path also works the same way. You don't have to switch back to pose mode from uh, object mode or object mode to pose mode. You can actually use it combinedly. The next one is offset motion path, which I have added extra is an extra feature where you can actually track the nose go to the first frame and then position the locator here so now we can easily track the nose right and there is a small issue in this 
I don't say it's an issue but because you know by default blender don't uh, update the motion path if we uh, don't apply any keys or physically move it but now it, it is constrained to the head control because it won't generate any keys on onto the locator so you have to press one more shortcut which i have added in the preferences you see and see you see this these two shortcuts like bone path update and object path update. And then i have kept it four because it is very close to e or r okay so you just have to select the control here suppose if you rotate something here on the okay just move the axis here you see the motion path is not getting updated right so for that you just have to press 4 automatically it will recalculate okay so whenever you move the control you just have to press 4 it will update update it will update automatically that's it uh, okay well the next one is play blast tools the special about this tool is basically it will save automatically and it will open the play blast it will open the folder of the play blast it will uh, set the frames and the resolution without changing the uh, scene frame range so and also it will version of the play blast let's see for example you have frames of 24 and then just press create play blast automatically it will take 24 frames okay and it will automatically open the play blast uh, okay only if you have set your uh, uh, player in the application file paths then it will automatically open the play blast okay so well this is not the camera so you have to open it in this camera open the play blast create a play blast that's it it's the camera okay if you want to add the information you just click metadata and press again yeah you get the metadata and one more thing if you want to just uh, uh, want to play blast only particular frames right you can enter the values here but also I have added one more feature where you can actually select the keys for example 1 to 10 you want select the keys again press create play blast this will only do the play blast for particularly selected keyframes it's very useful if you have thousand frames in a shot or maybe 500 frames in a shot and you don't have to always take the play blast with all the frame numbers right so you can actually use this feature select the keys which you want to see Play, play blast set okay. so if you open the folder here right now you can see like uh, i have already created of more play blast earlier you can actually delete them so that we can see this one clearly so now it is getting re-updated every time right so you press this button and press it again so what happens is in the same folder it will create a new version with v001 that's very handy right you don't have to re name the file okay and uh, suppose if you accidentally close the player you can actually get it back the last play blast you just have to click this button it will open the play blast simple so this is pretty much it with uh, play blast operations and you can actually set the height and width here and the Kodak information everything I have set by default uh, uh, MOV settings so you don't have to change it uh, it is just for viewing purpose so you can directly use it otherwise you know you have to set every information here for example that the ff mp mpeg then go to the encoding set this one 
this 264 you have to set everything right so i have included everything in just one button make your life easier the next one is bone selection set and also the object selection set so now we are in pose mode so we can see bone selection set what if we go to object mode? this will automatically change it to object mode. we'll see with objects first five cubes and if you select all of them let's delete the motion path and go to object selection select all the objects and click this button it will add all of them together in one set and also you can directly select them just click one click it is not like uh select it and then again for selection you have to click one more button it's simple you have to select it just click it okay and uh, you have if you want to add the selection uh, for example there is a camera here at the set we want to select both the selections click this and shift click automatically it will select everything okay and you can also create one more so, everything is selected here so remove it and uh, it will show the amount of controls objects here so suppose this set contains five items this set contains only one this is which is camera and you can also rename it from here and this won't rename the actual camera this will only rename the selection set and then this one as well and you can actually hide them from here if you want to okay mirror uh it's, it's pretty much simple for example you have a left l here and we have a r selection here this mostly mo works for bones but not the objects but still i would like to show it to you so click this r and then add set now cube r is added if you click this button automatically the left will be added it is pretty handy when you make selections for the bones let me show that to you now let's check the bones I mean controls uh, for that you need you don't have to go into depots anyway but yeah select a couple of uh, left hands fk controls I will add it here and uh, now the it it renamed automatically based on the active bone and if you click this and then press mirror automatically it will select the other side of the hand which is very handy so you don't have to create again okay and uh, one more thing you can do is you can actually rename <coughs> uh, you can actually mention the left and right controls of the bones so that you know sometimes uh, you might uh, add left for left not just l so you can mention it here so that the mirror button works seamlessly and you can add bones remove bones on the sets on the selected sets for example i can actually select this one and then uh, on the active item it will add it so we click it and then add bone it added one more here so it will select this one as well. simple so you can remove them and also you can export and import to the other blender scene file and you can delete as well the next one is the camera tools uh, where you can select them from here directly you can change them as well for example if you press zero you can see that i am shifting from one camera to another camera and you can lock the camera from here you can lock the view from here uh, you can actually move it if you unlock it automatically it will come back to the perspective if you press zero it will go back to the camera and you can actually change the focal length of it from here and then set the near clip and far clip and you can also enable the rule of thirds golden ratio rule of thirds and harmony angle a and b and uh, you can also toggle this black frame you can 
enable the alpha from here itself so if you want if you want 50 percent you can enter the value 0.5 you can still see the elements outside the camera mostly i prefer i won't don't want to see outside elements so i always keep it one and uh, the next one is show so show safe areas switch this on no by default it will show the safe areas next one is mini studio library i already uh, created a video on this so you can watch it i'll put it in the description down below and reset transformation this is same i just added here and animation recorder so if you see these buttons these are the buttons are coming from here okay so we have temp locator uh, this is temp controls select all empties this is select all empties this is delete this is delete and then bake bake this is sticky me and then this is follow me okay so let's see with jimmy now okay now uh, the temp controls are pretty simple uh, i'm planning to create more right now it supports only ik handles not the fk i'm going to put it in the next version um yeah so select the ik controls first and then uh, click this button and then it will create some empties and then it will transfer the animation of uh, selected bones to the empties and then it will constrain back to the empties so if you select it select the group here and then move you can actually move the entire rig without the master control and then you can actually change this position here change this position here now you have a walk cycle where you can actually make progressive from here okay without the help of master now select all the empties and then after this you can actually click if you delete it automatically it will delete all the empties and the collection as well and then if you you have bake option here and it has two different uh, features in one button one is control plus click and then just normal click if you press bake without control it will bake the entire keyframes see so it baked everything let's undo uh, if you want to still maintain the uh, values of it like for example you have see you have keyframes right you want to keep these keyframes without adding more keyframes so click the empty select all empties again uh, just press control and then click this button what it will do is it will bake onto the keyframes not on every frame okay this is very very important one okay and uh, let me just make it uh, linear so that you can adjust with sticky and follow me and select all the empties control bake now you see the entire walk cycle is shifted from grid to the another position so we can also use it as like a offset uh, tool no but yeah right now it works only for ik so use it for ik in the next version you can expect the fk version as well so that is the thing the next one is you can actually uh, adjust the sizes of the empties if you would like to select these empties and then you can adjust only those selected empties and this one as well you can select it you can also change it whichever shape you want okay select empties and then big that's it so now one problem got solved but it left us a sliding issue on the legs so sticky me is going to take care of sliding for example 
you have sliding from first frame to the 15th frame right what we can do is just select the control and click it it will take care of the sliding so it won't release until 15th frame okay and same thing goes with the left leg as right leg as well select here and i suppose if you want to sticky me from behind not from forward or if you want to do it from back side you just have to come to this frame 24th frame and then press control and then sticky me it'll go reverse way that's it simple so it'll take care of the lights what about follow me follow me is simple it's like relative movement based on the active element item so you select the child you can select multiple childs and then click the parent then if you want to follow the this control with this one press follow i'm not pressing any keyboard shortcut i'm just clicking multiple times that's it it will take care of the shifting the keyframes as well see now it follows the link okay if you press undo it will go back to the earlier state so you don't have to press undo every time in this suppose if you did 15 times you don't have to undo back 15 times so it directly goes back to the normal state cool so that's about sticky me and follow me these are very you know uh, important tools which takes care of the sliding and also following the controls and you don't have to use constraint all the time for smaller moments for example grabbing something and then putting it somewhere you can actually use this tool follow me like child and then active just follow a couple of frames and then release it that's it and the next one here actually i have added all these things here you can actually uh, you can actually track motion trail from here you can re remove the motion trail you can actually offset the motion trail with locator select it offset and now you get the empty and then move the empty somewhere else okay now you move the control the empty moves but it won't update you just have to press 4 it will update okay suppose if you move now press 4 that's it you get the arc right pretty simple and you can actually delete the motion trail from here and same thing goes for the temp locators you just have to select one yeah the temp controls got created now you can select any one of them and then select the content first then press this button so that it will take care of deleting the temps and also deleting their uh, associated constraints on the controls okay so this is what i think uh, we have completed all of them well this is the end of the video i hope you guys like the add-on if you'd like to try it out the link is in the description but this is not the end of beat beat 2.0 is coming soon for more updates please do subscribe like and share see you bye bye